Hi everyone, this is Extrude and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about what I learned from this week's Solo Cash Cup. Let's get right into it. But before the video starts, consider liking and subscribing as that does really help me out. In game number one, I decided to play passive and play for placement, so I actually found a legendary charge shotgun. I was actually in the first circle here, so rotations weren't a problem. Unfortunately, I ran into someone and let's see how this turned out. As I am farming materials, the guy starts shooting at me. I then try to hit him with a burst assault rifle. I then try to take better positioning in the fight. As he continues spraying at me, I try to get a few more shots off. But then I try to heal and drink a big pot. But as I try to drink a big pot, he starts pushing with his kids charged shotgun. And then as the kids charged shotgun approaches, he just comes in and just shoots me and destroys me immediately just like that. That was a solid first game. On to game number 2. In game number 2, I tried to rotate to the uncongested or dead side of the circle. I think I'm doing pretty well here, but unfortunately, my loot isn't the best and I do have a great SMG, which isn't really the best gun in the game. As I continue to rotate, some guy lasers me and I try to heal up. After healing up, I rotate through the circle and the guy lasers me again. I then spot another guy, so I try to take the engagement, but this is a very risky engagement as I do not have a lot of materials. I get lasered right here as I'm very exposed to getting shot at, as I don't have an ideal peak. I then push on and hit him with a charged shotgun, but then he continues and sprays, and then another person starts spraying at me, so I'm getting essentially lobby focused in a lobby of only 9 people. As I go to the situation, the guy starts W keying, and then I am unfortunately pushed and he eliminates me, and that is the end of game number 2. In game number 3, I run into a person with the kid's charge shotgun. This is a very powerful shotgun and can pretty much win you all fights. I shouldn't really be taking mid game fights, but I made a bad rotation. As I try to heal, the opponent shockwaves himself up and makes me fall down. He then pushes down to me and instantly eliminates me. In game number 4, I am rotating when I see a guy hiding inside the bridge. I shoot him for 101 damage and continue spraying him with an SMG for a lot more damage. Then I finish him off with an AR, but unfortunately a third party approaches. As the third party approaches, I try to crash pad away, but I mess up my crash pad and it just pushes me a little bit. Then I use two more crash pads and then I get away. Then I shoot the crash pads. This is a really good tip, because if someone's trying to follow you, you can just shoot out the crash pads as they are essentially one hit. And just like that, I was able to disengage the fight without a problem. Right here, I am attempting to go for a supply drop, but this is very dangerous as there are many people around me. As the guy starts lasering me, I try to heal up, but the opponent does not give up and continues shooting. Then, another opponent approaches from the back and sprays me with his scar, then crash pads through my boss and eliminates me. I should have went for a dead side rotate. In game number 5, I switch up my drop spot, landing at the Pleasant Bridge near Pleasant Park, and also Risky Reels. I do not have a lot of loot as there is someone on the opposite side of the bridge. If you can see my loot right now, I really don't have the best loot. A green AR, a green tap, a few apples and minis, and some medkits. I don't even have a single blue rarity gun, and there is a guy approaching trying to fight me right now. In this fight, I obviously have the disadvantage as I don't have the best guns, and the guy has way better guns than me. I do hit one tap on him as he basically just destroys me with a hunting rifle. In game number 6, I actually have really good loot as I hear a guy near me as I have visualized sound effects, one of the best features in the game. I tag him once and then I continue to fight him as he is at a significant disadvantage. I then continue to spray him down and then just get a few more tags on him before finishing him off with attack. The opponent I eliminated has floppers which are really effective for endgame and pretty much any time. Right here, I make a really bad decision by trying to go for a supply drop that's in the storm. That will take too much damage and the loot probably isn't worth it. As I try to go for the supply drop, I realize that it does have a launch pad inside so it might be worth it after all. But then after that, the storm starts ticking for 5 damage which is very risky. I place floors so the loot doesn't go to the ground and I open the supply drop. Inside the supply drop, there is a launch pad obviously and a purple scar with crash pads. I should have picked up the crash pads over the SMG because that is better rotation and SMGs aren't really that useful endgame. Right here, I try to heal because I took so much storm damage and I use floppers to heal myself up. Right here, I try to mark the half and half circle but then someone starts shooting at me with this AR. Then I try to go for a launch pad but I don't do too well with the launch pad because 
I'm not making the greatest rotation as I don't make it into the circle. As you can see right here, I go around the mountain but continue to get sprayed at by the guy with the AR. As I'm launch padding, I make a decent landing but the guy continues spraying. I somehow floor myself off. This is probably one of the tougher half and half circles to rotate to because it's so far away and it's up a mountain. Also, the guy's right on top of me so he could easily get some shots off. Right here, I kind of do some like high ground retake right here, but then that uses up a lot of materials. I continue to go up the mountain and this is going to be a very tough rotation. I continue going up the mountain as the guy starts spraying at someone else. I try to farm some materials as I don't have any wood, but I somehow fall down the mountain right there. As I'm farming the materials, some guy approaches me from the side and literally just destroys me. In game number 7, my loot is pretty decent, but I do have a green SMG which isn't the greatest. As I look at the launch pad, some guy actually starts rotating in and just W keys me right here. As I try to get a few shots off, I realize that I'm not going to win the fight. I do try to heal up, but I actually go for a crash pad instead. I do a pretty good job by breaking the crash pads, but then he still lasers me, and I'm trying to heal up right here. Then he follows me up with a launch pad or something, as I'm not really too sure. As he pushes in, he gets a nice right hand peek and just eliminates me. And he did have a purple tap, which is really strong. So I did only manage to play 7 games because the NA East region went down just like that. And I wasn't able to queue up into any more games. Pretty much anything was impossible, even creative or solos didn't work out. I ended up placing 8,053rd place with an average placement of 24.1, which I consider pretty good. This is a new type of video, so if you guys do like this type of video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you are new here. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, tell me in the comments down below. Give me some feedback on what I can improve on. That is all for today's video, and see you guys next time. Bye.